So I went back to Amazon for this movie run. Best Buy, you did extremely well for your time, which was one week. But I had to take advantage of Amazon and their movies. I got three on this run, three bangers. Two movies I have seen, just never owned the physical media. And one movie that I kind of just threw on, but I was in the middle of doing stuff, editing, writing, whatever. And I didn't get a chance to really focus and watch it. So getting right into it, I'm talking about the movie Replicas. This is a great film, I already know. It's a sci-fi, so I'm going to immediately say that I'm biased and I really think I'm going to like it. Because the things and the scenes that I actually caught while I was watching it and being busy, it looked pretty good. You know, I don't really know too much about the story. I just know that Keanu Reeves is trying to bring his family back. I at least caught that much of the movie. But I think Keanu Reeves is great. I like most of his movies. This is a sci-fi. Another sci-fi of his that I liked was Johnny Mnemonic. That's one of my favorite Keanu Reeves movies. He's also in The Matrix. You already know that. So those movies are definitely among my favorites. Um, and I think this one is going to disappoint at all. So if you guys have seen this one, definitely let me know in the comments below what you think. The second movie that I got on this list, man, I'm really happy that I finally have The Heatful Eight. This is my movie right here. It's very long. It doesn't feel like it. I feel like this movie should have been four hours because they could have just kept going. But I think they did an extremely good job at slowly building up the anticipation of this movie. It just has an all-star cast in there as well. Kurt Russell's in it, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Channing Tatum, Jennifer Jason Lee. There's a lot of people in this movie, man. Michael Madsen, all these guys, they kill their roles. This movie is great. Uh, Tim Roth is in this. So you're going to get a great job at all the storytelling. Each character has some type of history. And they all have their own reasons for getting to this way station during this blizzard. And, you know, there are a lot of suspects in what's going on. But the tension is real. Definitely check this movie out. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. That's such a great watch. It's fun. Uh, for the last movie, another sci-fi. Sci-fi is my favorite genre. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. It might be my top 15 list. Demolition Man, Wesley Snipes, Sylvester Stallone. These two go at it. Both characters are extremely different. John Spartan is play, played by Sylvester Stallone, who's a rough cop. Wesley Snipes is one of the funniest villains and badass characters of all time. And Simon Phoenix, who's a psycho killer. So pretty much when John Spartan risks the lives of several hostages trying to capture Simon Phoenix, he gets imprisoned and cryogenically frozen along with Simon Phoenix until he pot until he comes out. And everything is different for him. And the reason why he comes out is because he's needed to capture Simon Phoenix yet again now. So they go at it. It's the future now. So you have different weapons. The police force is even different now. Back in John Spartan's days in the 90s, they were, you know, street cops. They resorted to violence a lot. In the future, they don't even know what violence is. Simon Phoenix, he breaks out of prison and is showing them what violence is all about. You know, uh, murder, death, kills. Everybody freaks out and they feel like they have a phenomenon in their case. So that's why John Spartan is thought out to use his barbaric ways to capture this psycho killer. But there's, there's a lot of funny situations and the reason behind why Simon Phoenix is out and John Spartan needs to capture him. It's a pretty cool movie. It's fun. This is definitely a 90s movie. You have the 90s one-liners and it's great. Full of action. Great, great fight scenes, man. And I think this movie still holds up today. I'm really excited I got this on Blu-ray. It just hit me now because I remember this movie came out in like 93. And I remember my father playing it, and I just couldn't leave this TV screen for it. And um, the final battle between these two is always epic, and, and I look forward to that movie, and I can't wait to watch it on Blu-ray. But guys, it's a wrap. I'll see y'all next week for more bangers. Peace!